So the program is um, only three years old. Uh, it's a very young program. Um, it uh, it was set up. It it was founded as just a small group of friends uh, getting together and teaching each other, basically. Um, I mean, I'm sure everywhere, but in New York, where we're from, there's the, there's a setup of certain people teach based on you know experience and relationships to organizations that support and help teachers teach by paying them, helping them find space, um, setting up a, a student body base. Um, so the the original group of people organizing class 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 it wasn't. It wasn't this big idea, it was more of a small hub of friends wanting to expand their teaching experience. And they were already teaching each other ideas. And there's already an element of, of teaching built into making work, uh, choreographing, exchanging ideas. So um, it was founded as this idea to support um, younger artists, but not necessarily the age element of being younger. Um, maybe somebody who, like Walter for instance, somebody who has a lot of uh, performance experience and making their own work and they're, they would not be classified as younger in that sense, but somebody who is um, willing to take a new radical look at teaching. So sort of um, moving away from the old model of teaching where the teacher is the oldest, most wisest person in the class on the subject and going into uh, shifting into supporting artists who actually have desires to teach and desires to use their work as uh, and their, their situational work as ways to tap in and sort of workshop ideas, I guess. And um, the, the spaces who, I mean the studios who joined this program are all uh, artists around uh, studios? The studios are that we rent from, yeah. Since CLASS is an invisible organization, it only exists really on the web. It doesn't, we don't have a, an office, we don't have any space where people can come and know that we exist. We only exist when the classes are happening. Yeah. So we rent spaces all around New York City um, in all of the boroughs. And uh, we there was an early decision to only support artist-run spaces. Um, starting out as the group of people who originated it, some of them had their own space. So it was just sort of out of necessity and and out of an easiness that uh, spaces in in Brooklyn were more accessible because they were cheaper and we knew the people who were running them. And we've expanded now to other venues and other spaces, but we still have a dedication to supporting spaces where the artist is running it rather than major studios that are just pumping, you know, in and out of different rehearsals. We're really every aspect of, of selecting teachers to selecting spaces is all about the, the dedication of the individual mm -hmm. artist. How many spaces and how many teachers and how many mm -hmm. students? There are have? about, it changes every year, but this year um, there are about 28 teachers, um, all ranging in different ages and levels of experience. Um, uh, and I would say seven spaces. Um, and the student body is, is quite low. We average maybe like three students per class. And that, so that's the average. Sometimes there could be 10 people in a class. Sometimes there could be five. Um, uh, but the, the program is still defining itself and it, we are asking questions about who are the classes for um, because uh, my feelings on it is there, there's a 
really strong importance that these classes are actually for the teachers mm -hmm. to develop their ideas. And while teachers need students, um, we also can't use the number as a value of, oh, I got five students or I got 15. If there's one student in the class, it's still worthwhile to, because the teacher prepared, uh, um, you know, an expansive idea of what mm -hmm. class could be. Yeah. And yeah, you know, we can talk with to Walter, as <laughs> one of the teacher. How is, I mean, why did you join this program? How was the experience? I, I was asked to join it the first year that they developed it. So I've taught at class, class, class for three years now. And um, I like the idea of it. And part of the idea that I took to heart was allowing an individual to develop a teaching method, a subject, um, whatever the content of the class was, was up to you. And as Jen was saying, I've performed for many years now, but I was never really particularly interested in teaching. At least I wasn't interested in teaching technique or, uh, but I was, I was interested in teaching a sort of co a composition slash performative type class. So class, class, class allowed me to just make up this process and be very free with it. So I developed something that I utilized for myself anyway, which was a combination of writing and moving. And um, so over three years, I've taken that class structure and evolved it so that this year, the way I taught it was very different than how I started three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I read from the New York Times that teachers are also paid uh, both a stipend, like a, mm -hmm. and courtesy of a grant from a private fund, mm -hmm. and all of the student fees, which mm -hmm. is pretty good for... Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and the fees are also lower than mm -hmm. the major... Uh, yeah, yeah the fees are lower than what you would pay if you were going to a um, regularly run ballet class or modern class or yoga class, any kind of somatic class. Um, uh, so which is great. Yeah. Um, also, yeah. with a lot, you know, if for the teacher, it also gives you a bit of freedom to feel like that you can be involved in a teaching experiment. Mm -hmm. And that was really important for me to not just feel the pressure of like, I have to have this very set structure ready to go. So when they show up, I'm teaching them something. Since we're all kind of in collusion in a sense, yeah. when the students come in, it's, it is truly an experimental structure. And that's been amazing. I feel like it's been really positive from my experience and also for the people who've taken the class over the, over the few years. Um, and also, it ended up that this developing the structure in the class became something that I then took into my rehearsal process and I used it as a structure for making the last dance I did. Mm -hmm. So it was, it really has fulfilled its mission, you know, at least for me personally. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yes. good.